hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another interesting tutorial so this will be a continuation or an update on uh, one of the previous tutorial I did on CentOS so if you remember uh, there was a communication or announcement by Red Hat that you know they are going to stop the CentOS 8 and they want to move it to CentOS stream so I'll, let me just give a small recap on that what I have did so uh, if you read this statement like CentOS will no longer be a downstream of Red Hat uh, as it was previously now CentOS will be an upstream of uh, Red Hat minor release so it doesn't mean like CentOS will be same as Fedora uh, Fedora is also an upstream but uh, uh, that is uh, uh, of a uh, upstream with the uh, major release of uh, Red Hat okay so to just give you a pictorial representation so how it was previously like you have fedora where you know all this uh, testing all the changes will be happening and then you, ha you will have a red hat to getting released a stable version right and uh, from the red hat you will also have a downstream which is a CentOS, which will be a pure stable version of red hat so those who want to test everything with red hat they usually use CentOS, which is an open source uh, one okay now what happened is like uh, what Red Hat is doing is like they from Fedora they will have uh, CentOS so then from CentOS which will come to the Red Hat what does it means like CentOS will be an upstream so uh, but it is means it doesn't mean like Fedora and CentOS are same because Fedora will have uh, frequent changes and it may not be that stable but uh, CentOS will be a little bit more stable uh, but still there will be changes and uh, updates happening and from there you'll have a stable Red Hat version and uh, uh, to just give you the you know, uh, uh, update from Red Hat so this was the you know the communication they have done in, in December uh, where the CentOS project shift focus to CentOS stream so this uh, has caused a lot of uh, you know anger and a lot of people uh, uh, were not happy because the a lot of people were uh, migrating from CentOS 7 to CentOS 8 now they have to shift it to CentOS stream which a lot of people are not happy because CentOS stream may not be that stable as CentOS uh, 8 version okay so let's see uh, more about this so I have not uh, uh, came for this video to talk about CentOS stream and all those things which I have already done it in the previous tutorial so you can check it on my video description so I'll be talking more about uh, what is uh, Rocky Linux which is an alternative for CentOS so before I get into that uh, you know I have a request like if you are uh, new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly click on the subscribe button also you know like my videos share and comment okay so this video is specifically to give an information about Rocky Linux so if you remember uh, at the time of this CentOS uh, announcement uh, there was uh, also a statement like you know the people who been part of CentOS project or they started CentOS project now they are going to start a new project called Ro Rocky Linux. So if you read this Rocky Linux is led by Gregory Krishner who is also the founder of CentOS project and you know now we have this release candidate one of Rocky Linux available that is why I just uh, came up for this video to see how it uh, works we can see how we can download that and we can uh, try to set up Rocky Linux and let's see what to, uh, it will look like uh, CentOS and uh, uh, what is the difference between Rocky Linux and CentOS so uh, you know you can uh, read through this uh, you know some of this uh, questionnaire you know what do you mean by downstream or you know upstream so uh, you know as like CentOS uh, Rocky Linux also will be a downstream uh, so it will not be a uh, upstream so uh, which is the uh, one which is causing the problem with uh, now CentOS stream and uh, Red Hat uh, has given the announcement okay. so let's see uh, more about this so you can also go to this uh, discussions okay so I think this is uh, Mattermost which I don't want to join probably you, you can join you can go to the news so you can see what are the news happening here okay so what uh, I want to show you now is so this is the communication which happened in you know, a four days before that is on uh, 30th of or May 1st of uh, 2021 I think it happened on 30th of April 
so just few days before so they have released this uh, candidate uh, release candidate one for uh, Ro rocky linux so from where we can download it just go to this page so we'll have this option to download so it's a minimal version dvd boot checksum you have uh, multiple options okay we will use the minimal version uh, for this tutorial because i would just want to set up and see how it works now we can see the there are questioners or what is release candidate okay uh, so as as it mentioned like it's a beta version so it's not a productivity version so uh, you definitely you should not use this for a production productive environment okay so this is uh, you know uh, this is a release candidate it's definitely not for a production environment this is more of testing and validation so if you find some problems or something you can report back to this community so they can uh, fix it and you will have a good version released of Rocket Linux, which will can be replacing SendOS uh, or you no, know, uh, who have some challenges now to migrating SendOS string. So uh, I'm going to download this uh, minimal version. Since I already downloaded, uh, what I will do is I will uh, try to create a uh, virtual machine. So I'm going to create a virtual machine with um, uh, Rocket Linux. Okay, so I'm going to use the image. So I have uh, used the Rocky Linux image so it does not detect this operating system because it's completely new and I'm going to use Linux and uh, probably I will give the same as uh, CentOS because it's, uh, it's uh, similar to replacing CentOS right so I will give CentOS 67 bit 64 CentOS 7 64 bit let me click on next okay and I'll give you a name let me click on next so i'll keep it as a single file so if you are using a different uh, worship machine option like oracle worship box or something like that you can proceed with that as well okay so uh, i just want to sh see how this uh, will look like so let me turn on the machine let's see how it look like whether this will be similar to CentOS or you know we'll have uh, uh, big changes we'll see how uh, if you have done this Android installation, you probably will notice how it look like. So this is the minimal version, so you will not have a graphical user interface. Okay, so because I want to make it more like a server for uh, testing, and so I'm going to use Putty for connecting, so I don't need a graphical interface. yes so we are in the rocky linux 8 screen and this page looks almost similar to sendos where it's asking for uh, our language so let's click on next and you can definitely see this message like you know this is a pre-release version okay and it's not uh you know intended use for productive environment this is uh, intended for development and testing purpose only so you can test it okay don't use it for productive environments so but i am hoping you know they will release a, a version for productive or you know our day-to-day -day use where we can replace the sendos okay i want to proceed right this screen is also looks to be almost similar to sendos where we have to give the installation partition we need to enter the root password Okay, you can uh, connect your network. Yes, so I think this is this is almost same. Uh, you know, if you want to create a new user, so I see almost this are same as CentOS. Uh, so I've just clicked on install. Let's see how it gets completed, and we'll see what the screen will look like. So the version is like a Rocky Linux 8.3. So you can see here it's 8.3 release candidate one. So that's the version we are uh, testing it now. Okay. So let's uh, wait for the installation to be completed. Okay, great. So the installation is completed. Now we need to reboot. So I'll just click on reboot the system. Okay. It took a little bit more time compared to the normal Sendois, so, but since it's a, a release candidate, I think it should be fine. Okay, it's, uh, it's coming back up. So let's wait. 
okay all right so we are on the initial screen so this is how it will look like since you know it's a message that this is not for production because they want to make sure that this is clearly informed from their end so this is the login screen so let's try to log in with our root user okay I think I just typed something wrong just just wait okay let me see again so we are logged in so now you see um, I'm uh, inside and uh, you can see my IP address and everything so I can connect this machine through SSH now so let me just copy this uh, IP address okay so I'm just using putty for uh, connecting to this machine so this should be the IP address and port 22 so now you can see it has given the prompt so let me log in again great so I think we are logged in so let me see slash etc slash os release All right I think yes so you can see this mess information like the name of uh, this operating system is called rocky linux and the version is 8 right and uh, it's almost the uh, details are available here so great uh, so it looks almost like uh, send OS but I've not did any testing with that so probably I will do it so maybe you guys also can uh, download and do some uh, testing I will give uh, give these links in the video description and you can also go through my previous video if you don't know what is that announcement which uh, uh, Red Hat has did and uh, what is the impact on those people who are using SendOS okay so you can also follow these details on this Rocky Linux uh, forum okay I will give all this link again okay, this is the uh, uh, statement or announcement did by Red Hat in December okay great so this is all I wanted to share so I'm hoping uh, it's an informative session for you and uh, for more videos uh, i would uh, request you to subscribe and also click on the bell icon like this video share and give your comments